So hello you are else hi and once again welcome back to your own Europe chat with Starlingua and here success is the culture. So today in the season what we are gonna to again continue is the part of the noun that's the gender. Till now we have completed noun and number case and uh, and this is now the gender. After that are uh, the chapter of noun will be closed and after that we'll start what? We'll start pronoun. Okay, so now as we all know that here we are going to talk about gender. So, first of all, for looking at all the uh, rules of the grammar, it is very much important to analyze the history of any topic. It means here we're going to discuss about the derivation of the word gender and the history of the word gender. So, if I cannot talk about gender, then the word gender has been derived from Latin word genus, which means sort or of type. Again, I'm repeating, please pay your heart attention over here. The word gender has been derived from the Latin word gendry or the genus, which means sort or type. Actually, if we cannot look about the deep and deep and deep inside the history of the gender, then found one word that the word gender is also derived from the Anglo Norman French word that's the gender. Or we can also say that uh, the gender is a learned word from the Anglo Norman French word that's the gender. So here's the two derivations of the word gender that first. The word gender has been derived from the Latin word gendry, which means, uh, sorry, Latin word genus, which means sorter type. And the next one is that the word gender has been derived from the Anglo Norman saying uh, French word, or it is also known as gendry, or lone word. And this both means sorter type. It means you can say that both the genus and the gendry are similar to each other. So now, um, uh, when I analyzed the history of the gender, I found one thing more that until 200s, okay, until 200s, it's kind of a very interesting point that people use gender as an article. People use gender as an article. As we all know that there are uh, two articles, definite and indefinite, but in that sense it A and M D. As I have taught you article in my previous lecture, so you can go and check over there about the articles, how to pronounce articles, what's the correct uh, pronunciation of article and all the other things that I will give you in the description box. From there you can check out the link. So, the word gender till hundred two hundreds was used in article it means when we say that the sun the sun they used what they use not the okay they have two articles uh, sorry they have two genders okay they have two genders first the masculine gender uh, masculine gender okay that's the C and the feminine gender that's the cell. It's cell. So these two C and cell are the French words. These two C and cell are the French words. I also have told to you all gender has been also derived from the Anglo Norman French word gendry. That does uh, that this Latin word has derived the Latin word genus has to derive after the later and later and later on. But first, the gender that is the French word is the first one from which the gender has been derived from. Now, masculine gender say and feminine gender seal. So they use say and seal as an article, but uh, in French they are gender. They, we say just like that, the sun, right? We say the sun. And according to you and me, and according to all people, this is right. But before 200s or until 200s, this was totally wrong. 
it means uh, when uh, when you will be there in the two hundreds, then you cannot say the sun. No, you can. You will have to say seo sun. Okay, seo sun, and that's gonna to be correct because seo sun the use sun as a feminine gender, but we in the twenty fourth century we use sun as a we use sun as a what? We use sun as a masculine gender. Just like this, for example, you can take that the sun spread its rays, sun spread his rays to the earth or to the whole earth. So here you can clearly identify that the sun spread, it spreads his rays. His and his is what? His is used for a boy. But here sun is what? Sun is a masculine gender. So now, feminine gender cell. So they use they identify the son as a feminine gender. But when you when you know, when as the time is spread, as the time is spread, uh, spent, the Robert Stoller, the great recently, Robert Stoller, tell that this gender should not be used as an article, but instead they should be used as a gender to identify the whether whether that the person is a male or whether that the person is a female. So, and uh, if we look about the uh, definition of the word gender, that the noun which denotes male or the female sex is known as gender. Okay, now repeating the noun which denotes the male or the female sex is known as gender. It means a noun that denotes whether the person is a boy or whether the person is a girl. That is known as gender. So it's a, uh, that's the very much easy for it all and so just small fry and a big subtake. Now, uh, if I see the types of the gender, then I can, I can uh, clearly see you that there are four types of gender. Masculine gender, feminine gender, and after that the common gender. So, uh, if I look into the uh, feminine gender, then you can clearly say that feminine. Feminine. Feminine has been derived from the word female, okay? Feminine. So here you can usually say that the noun that denotes the female sex is known as feminine gender. For example, you can take girl girl mother sister that's all grandmother granny you can also say granny in modern english now masculine gender masculine masculine here you can also identify that the masculine means male so here masculine means male and here feminine means female now, masculine gender, the noun that denotes the whether the uh, whether the person is a boy or whether the person is male, is known as uh, masculine gender. Or you can definitely you can also say that the noun that identifies the male sex is known as the masculine gender. For example, boy, ambassador. Father and many more. Here you can also take as an example ambassadors. Okay, now the common gender. That's the most confusing part of the grammar. Common gender. Uh, mainly when people ask me, are there, are there only three types of gender? I say no. But there are four types of gender. People use what they leave the common gender. They leave the common gender. And sometimes they ask to me that is common gender very essential to all? Then I say, yep, yeah, it's reconnaissance. But when they talk about the common gender, then, okay, by the name you can identify the definition. Common. Take these two words separated. Then the common. Common means what? That something is known by the everyone. And gender means that it can, uh, that whether the person is male or female. So here, I can easily identify that when, uh, when the words come like, 
common gender that I can say that the noun which cannot identify whether the person is male or female but it is living thing is known as common gender let me take some example baby then I'll say this baby is very cute this baby is very cute tell me one thing over here when I tell this baby is very cute then can you identify that whether the baby is male or whether the baby is female now so this is called the common gender now take one more example teacher teachers are the pathfinder of students teachers are the pathfinders of students now here can you also identify that i am uh, that whether i am talking about the male or the female 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 teacher now here you can also not identify that whether i am talking about the male or the female teacher so that's the common gender and now when i talk about the neuter gender that's the fourth and the last uh, type of the gender then it's very small fry again to everyone and I think it's not a sense to explain but for some people I can explain that neuter gender neuter gender first of all to understand this type it is very much important to understand the word neuter neuter means something that is non-living neuter means something that is non living when i talk about neuter gender then the noun which can denote again i'm repeating please pay all attention over here because this class is going to be very interesting and in this one very particular class will complete the gender so be in tune with western lingua now uh, let's back to our point Neuter gender. Neuter means null living. And gender means the noun which can identify the male or female sex is known as gender. So the noun which can identify which cannot identify that whether the person is the male or the female and that's the null living. Is known as neuter gender. That's the small word. Okay, so now neuter. Well, let's take one example, chair. Uh, chair and let's take one more example that's the marker let's understand the neuter gender with the help of this marker this marker when I'll say this marker can grow can you talk to me marker no this marker cannot talk to me can you breathe marker no this marker can also not breathe so I cannot say he is a marker or I cannot say it also sees a marker is a is a, a it can talk to me it can breathe it can grow it can walk now but it when I'll when I'll push it when I'll uh, beat it then it cannot even cry and it cannot feel that what I am talking uh, to you okay so now that's that's what the non-living thing this marker has not filling so what i'll use for it i'll use it and here you can also see that it cannot either that whether it is not female and it is not also male so that's what i want to explain you for example let's take it is a marker it is a marker of gambling it is a marker of gambling I cannot say he is the marker of Camlin. No. I can also not say he is she. Sorry, she is the marker of Camlin. No. If I say this, that it will be. Let's come back to our point. Now, what I cannot tell you is about the gender and what you can use with that gender. And this for those people who are actually dumb in English because it's very much important to take them also in the race. Now. Well, you know that masculine gender, masculine, 
gender. Also, how told to you all that masculine gender identifies the male sex. So now we can well, what we can use with this. We can use he, his, with masculine gender. For example, you can take he is the intelligent intelligent boy of this class. Let's take one more example. Ram and Sham Okay, now draw not Ram and Sam because here you cannot uh, see that where the gender is. So let's take one example. He is the intelligent boy of this class. He. Here he here is what? He here is gender. And when I have put it he over here, then you can easily identify that he. Here we are talking about the boy who is intelligent in a intelligent boy of a particular class. Now, if I take one more example, he is my brother and his maths. is very good actually my math is not good now here is my brother and his math is good is very good let's take very good here is my brother and his math is very good when i have put it he his and you can easily identify that here I'm talking about a, a about a boy who is the brother of his brother and his maths is very good. Now take one more example. Let's take uh, uh, what we should take. RM is the member of BTS Antelastic and he is a good rapper. Now again, RM is a member of the BTS and he is a good rapper. He he, when I have put a he over here, then you can easily identify that RM is a boy and he is a member of BTS. And you can all know because he is very famous. And he is a good rapper. So that's all about the masculine gender. And now let's move to feminine gender. And now, if we're going to talk about feminine gender, then let's take example. Feminine gender. If I talk about the feminine gender, then I have told to you all that feminine gender identifies the female sex. Now, feminine gender, let's take one example and understand this. Gita is the word trace. It's O, sorry. Gita is the vote trace of Lord Siva or Siv. Okay. Gita is the vote trace of Lord Siva. 
Here, can you identify that where is the feminine gender? Let's try, try something hard to identify that where is the feminine gender. Can you identify? Okay, don't worry. Let me tell you. Votaries. Votaries means uh, that you are devoted, that you are devoted towards someone. Now, the female, the female devotee is known as votaries. Or Hindi, you can understand that the girls who are devoted to someone, तो उन्हें हम इंग्लिश में वोट्रेस कहते हैं यानी कि अगर फीमेल अगर किसी की भक्त होते हैं तो उन्हें वोट्रेस कहते हैं ओके नाउ गीता इज द वोट्रेस ऑफ द लैट सिवा एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू ऑल एंड दिस इज द फेमिनिन जेंडर लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जांपल काउ गिव एल्स मिल्क Now, here, can you identify that where is the feminine gender? Now, let me tell you. Cow is the feminine gender. When I told to you, all oh, cow is the feminine gender, then some people would be like this. What? Cow is the feminine gender? Yes, guys. Cow is the feminine gender and ox is the masculine gender. Because... Ox is a mas masculine gender and cow is a feminine gender. As ox is a male form and cow is a female form. Now here you can identify that cow gives us milk and here cow is a feminine gender. Now takes one more example. C is an I A S officer and an intelligent. Okay, let's take. C is an I A S officer. C is an I A S officer. Then, when I have uh, put it C over here, when I have put it C over here. Then you can easily identify that yes, there is a girl who is an IAS officer. So he is used as a feminine gender. I hope that the all doubts related to the feminine gender were, uh, is clear to you all. Now let's move to the neutral gender. Because we are not talking about the common gender because common gender does not take this he, see it. Okay, uh, they just take about the... Now, when, uh, when I say that teachers, teachers are the pathfinder, so here you cannot put he teacher is the pathfinder, C teacher is the pathfinder, it teacher is the pathfinder. Now, if you'll do this, then you will be one of the greatest dams among all the dams of English. Now, let's move to the neuter gender. Now, if I talk about neuter gender, neuter gender then one thing that i have told to you all that definition but the that the noun which identify the now living things with uh, which has no life then it is known as neuter gender as i have told to you all that neuter gender with the help of this marker that I cannot talk to this marker, I cannot do, I cannot work with this marker, even this marker cannot grow, even this marker cannot breathe and it can also not talk to me, cannot talk to me. So I can consider that it is a non-living thing. Now let's move back to our topic, then neuters and detect it it's okay now neuter gender for example chair no not chair let's take um one example then huh it is 
a beautiful painting it is a beautiful painting and let's take one more example it is a good quality of marker it is a good quality of marker now here it is a beautiful painting it is a beautiful 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 painting can a painting can talk to you let's draw a uh, one painting over here this is a painting his name uh, uh, this is a painting and his name is smiley can i talk to this painting hey painting can you talk to me now hey painting can you breathe now hey painting can you walk with me now i think he has no life that same that the board hear me and this is for the those people who are too much dumb in english now it is a beautiful painting so painting is a non living thing and even it cannot talk to me when it cannot breathe even it cannot walk even it cannot grow then it is considered as non living thing now let's and here it is a neuter gender it now let's move ahead here is a good quality of marker here is a good quality of marker just like um, let's take this and camlin camlin is such a very good quality of marker as you can see that how much it is uh, just uh, like a beautiful and handwriting is uh, on the board due to this marker now let's back to our point it is a good quality of marker this is a marker again let's talk to me now let's talk with this marker hey marker can you talk to them hey marker can you talk to me now the marker cannot talk to me the marker cannot talk to you all so it is a non living thing and here it is a again neuter gender so now let's guys move ahead towards the rules of the grammar that's going to be very interesting to you all so let's move ahead and be in tune with westerlingua now let's move ahead towards the main part of the uh, grammar section that's the rules of the gender so these are the rules of gender first of all let's take one there are some nouns which denote beautiful beauty gracefulness and softness are considered as feminine gender and they always take singular pronoun like he her sorry she her hers it is see again i am repeating there are there are some nouns which denotes beauty gracefulness and softness are considered as feminine gender and they are and they uh, and they always take singular pronoun just like he her and hers learn this rule with me that's the there are some nouns which denotes beautiful sorry beauty gracefulness softness and they are always in and they are always considered as feminine gender and they always take what singular pronoun just like she her and hers it is see let's understand it by example but which types of noun denotes beautiful uh, sorry beauty why i am saying beautiful beauty gracefulness and softness let's see let me explain you the sun the, sorry not the sun the moon earth spring hope faith mercy justice and the earth this all denotes gracefulness beauty and softness 
let's understand it by example how they are considered as feminine gender how you can con convert them into sentence uh, where should I write let me write over here here I am writing so you all can identify very easily the moon the moon is beautiful the moon is beautiful and sails in the sky so here you all can identify as according to the rule they are feminine gender they are feminine gender how they are feminine gender why they are feminine gender the now the moon is beautiful the moon is beautiful and sea is in the sky again i am repeating the moon is beautiful and sea is in the sky so now i hope that you all doubts here all doubts have clear related to this very particular sentence because I can understand all that the uh, your confusion in converting the words into sentence because many many and many children get confused and they just ask me ma'am can you tell me uh, can you tell me a very easy way to convert this in sentence and can you tell me that how can I identify the nouns that denotes beauty graceful lies and softness so the so there i told them that the moon nature spring hope faith and mercy and uh, these all words denotes be beauty and gracefulness so they got their doubt clear now I'll take one more example the earth is a heavenly body the earth is a heavenly body and sees our mother the earth is a heavenly body and sees our mother the earth i have told to you all in my article session that the earth the sun the moon the mars the jupiters the so not jupiter jupiter the jupiter you the is used before the name of heavenly body just the kind of um, sort of that the moon the earth the mars the pluto now pluto is a dwarf planet the earth is a heavenly body and sea is in the sky sea is in the sky sea is in the sky now you can easily identify now take one more example nature nature is the gift of god and sea is very beautiful nature is the gift of god and sea is very beautiful i think you can easily identify now let's move ahead uh, to rule number two there are noun there are some nouns there are some nouns which indicates uh, strength hardness energy and they are considered as masculine gender and they always and always and always take singular noun you can easily identify that beauty gracefulness and softness can indicate a female and uh, and strength energy hardness can uh, indicate male now the noun there are some noun which denotes strength hardness and energy and they are they are used as some uh, and they and they are sorry and they are used as it's some over here and they are used as masculine gender and they always and always and always take singular no singular pronoun don't be confused don't be ambiguous don't be vague you let's focus do your all focus peer whole focus over here and read it by your heart for example you can take the sun the time death wind love and war for uh, let's take let's change those of the sentence the sun the sun if i convert it into sentence then how will i convert the sun sorts its light the sun sorts light or the sun sorts its rays to whole earth 
again i'm repeating sun sorts his his ray to whole earth the sun sorts his rays his 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 rays so here his is again what here his is a mask indicates the masculine gender as i have told to you all uh, in my in my previous and previous lecture that uh, after some times we have discussed that that's the masculine gender that what i want to tell to you all with the help of the second rule that's what i tell you told to you all let's take one uh, more example about that death knows his his victim you cannot say death knows her victim death knows it victim no death knows his victim so here you can identify that i am using what i am using a masculine gender with it and it is a singular pronoun and that's what it's clear to you all now the third rule says that distributive pronoun and adjective when i talk about the distributive pronoun and adjective many people got confused in all about the distributive era pronoun and adjective so don't worry uh, in the previous lecture sorry in the next lecture we'll discuss about first of all we'll discuss about the pronoun then we'll discuss about adjective and then we'll discuss about tense and then voice and then narration and then indirect and direct space okay that's coming now distributive pronouns and adjective such as each either neither every are used as common gender you can identify that as i have told to you all you cannot use see he it before common gender as uh, i have told to you all that you cannot say she is a teacher uh, she teacher is the pathfinder he teacher is the pathfinder he is uh, he student is very good no students are very good student students of this class are very good so here you cannot identify that i when i am saying that students are very good then you cannot say that she is boy the student name of which uh, she is talking about is a boy is a girl no you cannot identify that i am speaking about a boy student or i am skipping uh, sorry skipping not speaking about the girl student now let's back to our point this to be but for now uh, remember that each either neither every okay each either neither every used as common gender and they take singular pronoun of masculine gender singular pronoun of masculine then gender i know that you all got vague over here so don't worry let me clear it out singular pronoun singular pronoun of masculine singular pronoun of masculine gender here i have told to you all sun sorts his rays to whole earth death knows his victim so here his is what his is a singular pronoun of masculine gender so here you can uh, change it to sentence just like that each student each students of this class has completed his homework every one of us every one of us not everyone every student every student of this class has not has not done his duty that's all about what the third rule says now let's move to our fourth so now if we talk about our fourth rule uh, then indefinite pronouns like everyone no one uh, sorry someone no one everyone somebody everybody nobody some uh, anyone anybody these are some pronouns of common gender and they always and always and always again they always take singular pronoun of masculine gender again i got to repeat that indefinite pronouns such as 
somebody, nobody, anybody's, anyone, any, uh, anyone, anybody's, uh, somebody, everyone, someone, somebody. They are the pronouns of common, uh, common gender and they always take singular pronoun of masculine gender. For example, how will you change into sentence? That it will be like this. No one should trouble his neighbor. Again, I am repeating, no one should trouble his neighbor. It means that here no one is what? No one is indefinite pronoun. A IP means indefinite pronoun. So trouble his gender. His. His gender. I have highlighted this over here. That his, his neighbor. His is what? Singular pronoun of masculine gender. No one should trouble his neighbor. His neighbor. Now let's move to our next, the next example. Everyone, everyone is indefinite pronoun over here. Should do his own job. Everyone should do his own work. Let's do it work over here. I think that it would be more, uh, ap uh, it, should, it would be more uh, suitable over here. Work. Everyone should do his own. Everyone should do his 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 is what his is here singular pronoun of masculine gender now you can uh, you can convert this whole thing into sentence by your by yourself but how uh, let's convert one example let's take what um yes let's take let's take somebody somebody is searching for his pain Somebody is searching for his pain. Somebody is searching, searching for his pain or for his, uh, for his, yeah, yes, pain is uh, suitable. Then somebody, indefinite pronoun, suitable, uh, somebody is searching. So somebody is searching for his his pain. His is over here. What singular pronoun? Singular pronoun of masculine gender. I hope this would be clear to you all. Now let's move to our fifth rule. Something, uh, everything, something, nothing are indefinite pronoun. Again. Everything, something, nothing, somebody, anybody, everyone, nobody, and no one. These all are anybody, anyone. These all are indefinite pronoun. And again, everything, something, nothing are indefinite pronoun. And they take pronoun of neuter gender. Here, you have to notice one thing. Pronoun of neuter gender. In your life, there would be not the very much influence of the uh, neuter gender but in grammar neuter gender influences the rules the common errors and all that the all, all that the things that are related to gender here everything something nothing are indefinite pronoun and they take pronoun of the neuter gender but what's the pronoun of the neuter gender they are it it's itself again i'm repeating these are the pronoun of the neuter gender you'll have to learn it but uh, let's uh, uh, see it by example it it's itself so these are the pronoun of neuter gender these are the pronoun of neuter gender so how will you convert it into sentence it would be like this uh, Everything should be, uh, sorry, everything should kept in its place. Everything should be kept in its place. So everything should be kept in its place. So here, everything should be kept in its place. So here you can easily identify that here we have used pronoun of neuter gender let's take one more example something has been not kept in its place something has been not kept in a kept in its place so something has been not kept uh, kept in its 
place or in its order. So here you can also identify that uh, when I'm using something then just after that then just after the few few words I have used the pronoun of the neuter gender that's it. So now let's move to all the last two rules of the gender and after that our gender will come completed. So let's move ahead. If we move to our sixth rule then the lower animals non-living things are used as neuter gender and they take pronoun like it its and itself again i am repeating lower animals lower animal it means just like smaller animals just like you can say a snake mouse it will rat cat and all that the animals and non-living thing you can say a uh, tree Chair. So a tree is a living thing. Washing machine. Washing machine. Your laptops. And all the other things which are null living and they and they don't have life. They always they are always used as a neuter gender and they are always uh, and they always takes the Take the pronoun like it, its and itself. For example, he has killed a snake. He has killed a snake. It's still lying on the road. He has killed a snake. He has killed a snake. He is a masculine gender and snake is a lower animal and its is what pronoun. So I think it would be clear to you all now let's move to the last rule of this chapter. Collective nouns. Collective. From the name you can identify that a collective noun means the collection of something. Jury, committee, class, team, etc. use the pronoun of the common gender. Just like its, its and itself. Again I am repeating. Jury will submit its report on Sunday. Jury will submit its report on Sunday. The army has brought its tank. The team has declared that it will win the match. So that's what's for today's session. I hope that my all the that all the things that I have taught to you would be clear to you all. And in next session, we'll start the new topic of the English drama. That's the pronoun. Till then, bye bye. See you soon in my next lecture. Thank you. Have a nice day. Best of luck. Jai Hind. Thank you.